Hey guys, welcome to Introduction to Maya. This is uh, lesson 50, and in this lesson, we're gonna touch on uh, modeling. This is our first lesson in modeling, okay? So, in order to model something in Maya, it's always a great idea to have a reference. In um, cases where you want to model a human being or a car or things like that, you definitely need a photographic reference. Uh, for the photographic reference of um, that actual object. On the f on the flip side, if it's something that you've um, actually designed from scratch, you would want it to be um, hand drawn or illustrated drawn as a reference. So I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you what we're going to work on. I'll move this on the side, to the side. This was actually drawn in orthographic view, and I took it into um, I took it into uh, Photoshop and uh, lined it up. The top was the tops were lined up, ears were lined up, hands uh, like elbows, um, shoulders, hand, hands, legs, feet, everything lined up in uh, Photoshop, and um, I'm just uh, cropped out and uh, paste, crop and paste or whatever. You know how to use Photoshop, but if you don't, um, I would uh, recommend you learn how to use it. So um, the same principle applies in photography. You do the exact same thing. Take the exact uh, front, exact size, exact side, and just to spice it up, you might want to take the top view, you know, to make it uh, some sort of a three-dimensional. You might want to take the top view as well. Um, yeah, and um, apparently, I, I haven't done much of um, photography myself, but... Um, Apparently, they advise you to t uh, to um, to use a, a very long lens. Okay, when taking pictures like this, they advise you to to use a very long lens so you have as minimal amount of uh, perspective as possible. Okay. So if you wanna, um, let me just line that properly for those of you who might. Um, if you wanna hand draw this guys feel free go ahead and hand draw this it's right here you can pause it right about now and hand draw it and so, so that you can uh, follow along otherwise you can just go into the description and download the, um, the templates that I've got in here okay download the templates that I've got here in the description below or um, hand draw it yourself it's up to you guys um, no matter what, uh, what you do, if you actually prefer hand drawing it yourself, just make sure that it lines up properly. Otherwise, uh, your work might be a bit messy. Okay, just make sure you you line it. Um, you take it into Photoshop, line it up properly. Make sure everything is lined up. Um, what else do I need to uh, tell you before we start? So, in order to um, to model against a reference, you need to export this actual um, reference into Maya. There's actually uh, two. Let me bring. Let me just close this. These two. Um, there's actually two ways you can do this. Okay, guys. There's two ways you can do this. Um, our first method. Our first method uh, will be. Let's take it into orthographic view. Uh, first me method is uh, uh, you go to file. Okay, pretty cool. You um yeah, you go into perspective view. Make sure it's uh, front. Go to file. Um. Oh, just make sure it's um, a new scene. Let me just uh yeah, it's um. Make sure it's a new scene. Then uh. For the for the front view, go to view, uh, image plane, import image, okay, import image. So uh, it's on our desktop. So this will be the front image. Open. So we've got the front image on here, and um, go to our side view. Let's go to our side view, do the same thing, import, um, image plane, import image, desktop, uh, 
open. So if you look at, at our perspective view, it lines it up automatically. There you go. It lines it up automatically for us. So um, yeah, this is our first. Uh, this is our first uh, option of doing it, and um, uh, let's see. Yep, this is our first uh, way of doing it. So to delete this, to delete um, this actual thing, just uh, go into. Let's see. Okay, guys, go into um, Windows, Hypograph, Hypograph Connections. See that? This actual um, object is selected at the moment. So just go into Hypograph because this one is selected. The side view is selected, Hypograph Connection, Image Plane, make sure that one is clicked, then delete. You will delete the, um, the, side, the, side, um, the side view. Then um, uh, for this one, for, to delete the front view, just go into view, um, select camera. When you select camera, go into windows, hypograph uh, connections, and um, image plane one, which is the front view, and um, delete it. That uh, deletes. Um, Delete your scene, and um, the second uh, the second uh, way of uh, the second way of actually um, importing your image is uh, let me just the second way of um, importing your image is going into uh, surfaces, okay? Go into surfaces and uh, create a nerves plane, and make sure just estimate. Uh, just estimate the size so I'll probably say about that much okay press 5 to shade it now you want to go into uh, rendering and select this Lambert material this are uh, nine um, nine well, can't even get my words right nine uh, shiny material double click it or click it whatever then go into okay Make sure you're following, guys. Then go into color, click on this little checkered box. It will bring up um, <clears throat> it will bring up this create render node. Then go into um, file. Go into file. It will open that bit. Then select into select image name. Okay, select that. Then go into uh, desktop introduction to modeling. Just double click that. Then we we're looking at what? What are we looking at? We're looking at front. So click on your front view. Open. That's all you need to do. But as you can see, we can't see um, we can't see our object on here. So what you want to do is go into um, shading and turn on hardware texturing. There you go. So what happens here when we click on file? We open the file and uh, attach the file to the color, okay? So we sit pretty much painting our um, our Lambert material, our Lambert material with um, this template. That's exactly what we're doing. So I hope you follow you following um, until now. So go back into your perspective view. Okay, just to point out something, it might be a little bit confusing first. But this is um this is how I'm I'm going to do my tutorials from now on. So you might wanna um follow it now. Either way, you do you do it two, three, four times, you get it. You it will just be straightforward. So go into your um perspective view, just uh, press five to shade this. And again do the same thing, shading and turn turn on your hardware texturing. There you go. So you might wanna um what we want is the side as well, okay? So this is a uh, this actual um, template is in the center. So what you want to do is to actually duplicate this. You can either go into uh, edit, um, then duplicate, okay, or press the command D. 
and if you've got a Mac, press a com uh, Command D. If you've got a uh, Windows, I think it's Control D. I, I don't have Windows, so just double check, guys. Um, yeah, Control D. Okay, then click on this uh, rotate and just rotate your duplicated, your duplicated um, Lambert material. So, and again, want it, want this to be at ninety degrees. So what you, what I want you guys to do, go into your um, go into um, into your channel box and uh, just play with that a little bit see what numbers are, are moving okay okay let me let, let me do it again let me make it easy for you guys control D to duplicate it so what you want to do you want to rotate it into the y-axis by 90 90 degrees okay so just click on 90 there you go reduce all the problems so we've got uh, as you can see both of them are front views so what what um, you want to do is to actually change this into the side view so uh, make sure this um, uh, take it back into select uh, into uh, select two. Make sure this uh, you click on one side, whichever it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. So let me just let me just uh, yeah. Go into your um, orthographic view. Click on your side to make sure you you select the right one. Okay. Then click on uh, Lambert material again. Click on Lambert material when it opens there. Color, click on the checkered box. Okay. Then file. Then image name. Then we want the side. So click on the side. Open. There you go. Now um, we've got both the front and the side. Let's just uh, collapse this one. Both of them might as well. Now, Maya has a mind of its own sometimes, so what you want to do is to scale this to match it, you know, to scale this a little bit, there you go, as you can see it's matching up, and um, again, uh, move these to, make sure it's in line with uh, those little, little, um, four dots in the middle that's pretty good that's pretty close yep now we've got our lined up um, and again Move this to line it up with the body. You might you might want to play with it a little bit a few times, you know, to get it right. That's pretty right. So, yeah, that's right to me. So now we um, we're good to go. But before we go any further, one last thing I want you guys to know is um, if you click on uh, if you if you go into your channel box, if you go into your channel box, you find these uh, layers that you've got on here. Okay, so you've got. Um, You've got this layer. So what you want to do is select both of these, and um, you select. Make sure you select both of these and create and uh, click on this one. This is a shortcut to create a layer. So click on here. You have created a layer of these two. Okay. So um, just double click this and uh, name it. Um, na name it our template. 
our templates or whatever, our template, then uh, my name it template. Okay, yes. name it template. Now both of these are clicked. Uh, both of these are highlighted as you. Both of these are highlighted. Then um, add selected object to our template. Okay, we're adding this selected object to our template that we've created. So add selected objects. There you go, and um, yeah, that's uh, how it works. Actually, we might as well. Um, so, which means this uh, has created. We might as well, guys. We might as well delete. Sorry, delete layer. I just delete the layer, and. Um, create this layer this layer will be double click it this layer will be uh, template one fuck it Okay, create one layer, then select this thing. Uh, this, uh, what's it called? This is front. Make sure this is um, front. Save it. Because this, the front is selected at the moment, so add selected object to that, to this one. So we've got front to that. And again, create another layer. And this is side. Side, save it. So just go ahead and uh, click on the side. And um, add selected object to that. So we've added the front and the side. So um, you might be thinking, why the hell do we have to do all that? That is um, because sometimes we might wanna, we might wanna, um, we might wanna uh, make the front unselectable, so that we can't. No matter what we do, we don't. Um, so that no matter what we do, we don't actually select the front by mistake. So um, we might wanna, if we do that, we might wanna make uh, the side invisible, so it's like completely out of view. That way, we're only working with the front, as you can see. Okay, bring it into view or make it uh, uh, see through or whatever. You you get the idea, guys. So that's um that's how Maya works. So um yeah, that's all you need to know about our templates. And uh, let's go ahead and um, start some modeling. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe.